Scientific. 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 Scientific revolution. 17th century solution. Scientific revolution. Mad scientists call that pollution. Oh, look, man, now we earned this. So dang fresh, throw back to Copernicus. He wrote on the revolutions of the heavenly spheres. It was so great and loved by all of his peers. His ideas were influenced by the Ptolemaic model. Yeah, that's right, they didn't come from a bottle. He was so great and kinda an inventor. He created his own model where the sun was the center. Oh, look, there's another scientist. His name is Kepler and he noticed the ellipse. Talking about some of that planetary notion. All this work must have taken some devotion. Galileo really challenged the authority. It was like challenging Pope was his priority. The church recanted all of his works. Some of people might say that the Pope was a jerk. Ah. Scientific revolution. 17th century solution. Scientific revolution. Mad scientists called that pollution. Scientific revolution. 17th century solution. Scientific revolution. Mad scientists called that pollution. Uh, how about Rene Descartes? He was pretty cool and also really smart. Analytic geometry, algebraic terms. He created these things and liked to reaffirm. The Royal Society promoted these people. Viewed all the scientists as pretty much equal. Promoted all the scientists' beliefs. And seemed to inflate all of the Pope's griefs. Charles II, he was a ruler. He had a lot of strength, kind of like Mr. Bueller. All the inventors made a huge change. Inventions for exile, it's a fair exchange. Scientific revolution, 17th century solution. Scientific revolution, mad scientists call that pollution. Scientific revolution, 17th century solution. Scientific revolution, mad scientists call that pollution.